All right, what's up, Tyler? We got our warm-up for Tuesday, August 17th. We got two sets. Each set is two rounds. Uh, first one's 20 seconds alternating soldier kicks, 10 seconds rest. 20 second high plank to low plank, 10 seconds rest. Second one, second set is 20 alternating hamstring stretch, 20, for 20 seconds. So we'll go each leg for 20 seconds. Um, toe comes up, heel stays down, right? Rolling the back forward. Uh, reaching for your feet. Um, 10 seconds rest and then 20 seconds reach, row, and lift. Moving on, specific warm up. Specific warm up is going to focus heavily on rowing. Okay, so usually we're 10 pulls, today we're 15 pulls, um, and we're trying to get our calories and our stroke rate in a, a range where we can stay efficient for the whole workout. So set your rower up for calories when it's counting, it'll to give you strokes per minute on it. All right, so we got 15 pulls on the rower, five hand elevated push-ups. So that means box, bench, something that's gonna lift you up a little bit, make the push-up a little bit easier. Those people who are ninjas who are really proficient at um, push-ups, um, do the scaling options. It's a good opportunity to get those shoulders a little bit more warmed up, okay? And then uh, 15 pulls on the rower, we're gonna go a little faster, 18 to 20 strokes per minute, five push-ups from your knees. Next round is 15 pull-ups, um, or 15 pulls on the rower, 22 to 24 strokes per minute with five RX push-ups. So if we're not able to do RX, we just go back to the, the scale and option, option before, which is from your knees. And then we got 15 pulls on the rower, 26 to 30 plus strokes per minute, five push-ups again, or by now we should have, we should figure out where we are gonna be our, for our push-up option. Um, or scaling option, so we want five reps of that. Right? Then we're gonna work on some handstand practice. So we have handstand holds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, three rounds. Workout, four rounds, 25 calories or 18 calories on the rower, 25 push-ups, RX push-ups, right? So chest hits the deck, locking out our arms at the top, not with lazy hips or our thighs are coming off the ground. Okay, um, intermediate is 20 or 14 calorie row plus 20 push-ups. And then beginner is 15, 10 calories on the rower, 15 push-ups, right? So let's just talk about scaling options for the push-ups. We'll talk about timing and all that stuff as well. So scaling options for the push-ups. First thing I like to do is do hand elevated push-ups so maybe it's a 30 inch box. We get proficient at that. We can knock out 15, 20 of those. And then it goes down to a 24 inch box. So we're always able to measure where we are at. So I like boxes, uh, benches, stuff like that. Uh, even knee pushups can do as well. So there's some scaling options for our pushups. One thing we want to make sure that we're taking care of throughout the whole workout is that we should be able to do the set of pushups, which one allotted to you in 90 seconds. Right? Same with the rower. We want to be able to get off that rower 90 seconds, so three minutes per round. Right? Um, yes. So at the beginning, you might want to do a little bit of test. Can I do five to 10 push ups unbroken for a few rounds at a time with a little bit of rest in between? Um, that's going to give you an idea of where you should be in your workout. Workout timing. Okay, so we're going to have some straight up ninjas in there. You might come in around 10 minutes. Um, with a maximum time of 15 minutes, where we want to be about 12 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, and that goes for all the versions of the workout. Um, just a little note on the push-ups. Let's keep them uh, nice and strict, uh, nice and legit, locking the out, arms out, touching the chest on the ground every single repetition and not having lazy hips. All right, guys? Go ahead and hit this one hard. Get after it. All right?